You ready? Good morning. Today I am starting off with doing some relocating of the rest of the pinion trees that are here in the leach field area for our septic system. We've got a total of eight trees that got to be moved, four of which are just right here that grew around a juniper that was right here. And as you can see, this one has kind of blown over the last couple days it has been rainy and very windy and uh, not only did this one fall over but a larger one over here fell over that was probably the healthiest one out of the eight here that we're going to move these pinions grow up in the midst of these junipers that you can see that we've cut out and they will prop themselves up on the branches of the junipers and try to grow as fast as they can to, to get out of the shade, to, to get sunlight. And in the process of doing that, they grow very weak root systems. Here's this one I was just talking about. It's a very, it was, it's a very healthy looking one, but it grew right under a main branch right here and you can see the trunk curves and it went under like that. And I think the, if I remember right, the branch went out this way. And so it had a few branches propping it up and it was so windy it, uh, it couldn't take it and blew it over. We'll transplant them. We'll put some stakes in the ground and support those trees with some rope. And for starters, we're going to support them uh, pretty tight because they don't have, like I said, they don't have a lot of roots. They're, the root systems are very weak. They need to get reestablished before we can loosen the ropes that are going to support them and then eventually completely get rid of them. I'm gathering all of the topsoil and mulch that was naturally put here by the junipers and the pinions themselves. I figure this was the best way to go for them. This is a good example of a, a tree that had to grow around the branches of the juniper that it was in in order to survive, in order to get up high and get sunlight. You can see here how it's curved all funny like that. So it had to get around and make its way up through the juniper to get sunlight. And a lot of them are like that. Even this larger one that we did a few videos ago has a little disfiguring there where it came up and then offsets and then continues up.
here's the last one I did. The stump came with it because I couldn't really separate them without hurting that little pine tree. So I think it looks nice though. It'll decompose and provide nutrients in the soil for the tree. So it's near the end of the day. I got three trees replanted and relocated. And I'm gonna change gears for the last hour or two here. The material that we pulled out of the, the hole for the septic tank is some good stuff. It's very gravelly and sandy, a lot of rock in it, a little bit of dirt. And I think it's a good time right now to spread some of that on the road. I'm gonna get the kids out here to pull the big rocks out while I'm doing that. And it is very muddy. Oh, the sun. We got some big old mud ruts here. And it is a, I think, a good opportunity to spread some of that rocky material, gravelly stuff on the road, get it worked into this mud, especially some of that bigger material, help to get it into the ground versus doing it later when it's dry out. Because then I can't really, you know, you can't work it in as good. The bigger stuff basically make the ground a lot harder and a lot less soupy. So that's the plan. Spread some of that out, run it over real good. And you know, at a later date, we'll come and put some fine, finer gravel all down the road, probably during the dry season, which is coming soon, I hope. <laughs> all right, you little stormtroopers, here's what I need you to do. See that mud pit over there in the road? Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. scoop up some good stuff out of the pile I made from the septic hole. And I'm gonna spread it out over there with the backhoe, okay? What are we Your job is to find the bigger rocks that I accidentally bring and to put them off to this side of the road, okay? So that side? Yep. You ready? Yeah! All right, let's do it. You gonna get that one? Huh? You gonna get that one? Oh yeah, sure. Let's see what you got. Okay, that's the wrong side, but good job. We'll, we'll leave that one there. My goodness, what a soupy, muddy mess. Whew. Very, very, very muddy. But, look at that sunset, man. Sure it'd be nice if the four-wheel drive worked on that thing. But, it didn't get stuck. I mean, I, I almost got stuck a couple times. There was just some mud pits on our roads. I think that material is helping, though. It's starting to get better right here. Pretty solid. I didn't get that far. Still got a mud pit right there. And over there. We got some good work done today. 
I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everybody. Today, we're starting off the day with compacting the bottom of the hole here for the septic tank, which, by the way, is scheduled to be here in three days. It'll, I got a column still, but it is scheduled to be here. So, we're gonna get the backhoe, get the chain, and lower this thing down in the hole and start squishing the dirt. truck is on its way it is a windy blustery day today but this is exciting it's been an exciting week got our water on the septic tank is being put in here we go you ready Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that went really well. Really well, yeah. Well, well. He was saying it weighs 13,000 pounds. Hanging off of the end of that truck, that is a ton of weight. All right, well, let's hook up the pipe and bury it.
Isn't this a lovely sight? Oh, now we can finish moving these trees. We have this big one here we're gonna work on. It's uh, myself and Logan here, starting off by scraping up a little bit of top topsoil and mulch. Just make sure we have enough. And we'll try to get that moved as well. We got, we still got a few others, like the toppled over one there. Tall, skinny one here. sure if this guy will make it or not but we're gonna try it had blown over and it was kind of in a tricky spot so picking it up with the backhoe was a little interesting but we'll plant it and see what happens 